All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over my top 10 tips for new goat owners. Uh, when I started getting into goats, I knew absolutely nothing. So maybe this video will help you learn a little bit before you get your first goat. So the first and most important thing I'm going to cover in this video is the fence. So if you don't listen to anything else, listen to this one. So what you want when you're building a fence or if you have somebody build a fence for you is you want to make sure that you have sheep and goat fence wire on your fence. So these are four inch by four inch squares. And what this does, this prevents goats from getting their heads stuck in the fence. And just, it, call, it alleviates a lot of problems. No predator can get through this fence. They're either gonna have to go under it or they're gonna have to go over the fence. And speaking of uh, under or over, that's why I have this electric wire right here. Electric wire on the top and electric wire on the bottom. This will prevent a predator, coyote, bobcat, raccoon, anything like that from digging under or climbing over the fence. Think of your fence more as an investment than a cost, um, like a high cost item, which it is gonna be a high cost item because fence wire is expensive. It has almost doubled in price since I put this up three years ago. But the fence is gonna be here for a long, long, long time. So just do it right the first time so you don't have to come back and redo it, um, put up a different wire. People will go to Tractor Supply and get field fence, which has big squares for like cows or horses or something like that, and you do not want that. Goats will get their heads stuck in here, and little goats, when they have babies, the babies can get out through the bigger squares, so just avoid it if at all possible. And another tip, on the inside of your fence, um, if you'll see right here, I have another electric wire on the inside, and that prevents the goats from rubbing up against the fence and bowing it out and making it loose and all kind of stuff like that. So you have a inside wire about midways up and this will prevent the goats from rubbing on it and they'll just stay off of it and it'll add years and years to your fence. So, and then the next thing I wanna talk about is your gate. So when I, this is the first section of fence that I fenced off three or four years ago and I got a gate that is too small. When I drive in with the truck, I'm almost touching on both sides, so make sure you get a gate that is wide enough to fit a tractor, truck, trailer, whatever you're going to be bringing in hay with. Just make sure you get a, go a gate that's big enough, but just get a gate, like a 12, 14 foot wide gate that you can just open up and just drive in and drive out easily. The fence, most important thing, it'll last you 20, 30 years if you do it right, so do not cheap out on the gate. Alright guys, my next tip is you have to have a way to catch these goats if you need to medicate one, um, trim one's hooves or something. So what I recommend is that you build a feed corral um, wherever you have your goats, if they're in a pasture or in the woods, some way, somehow you need to be, build a feed corral because they have one way to go in and it has a door. You can shut them in there easily, catch them. Because some of these goats, they'll eat out of my hand um, just like it was nothing. And then when they have a baby, they just become skittish. They don't want to be around you. They're just very protective of their babies. So um, just feed them in this every day, build a routine. And then whenever you do need to medicate one, trim a hoof or just check a goat, just feed them. And then on your way out, just close the door. They'll be in there. It's easy, simple. It's not a lot of stress on them. You don't have to rope them or get them in a corner and try to grab them. It's very stress-free. So it doesn't have to be anything complicated. I just have these uh, four inch by four inch square sheep and goat panels like we've talked about throughout the video already it's easy to put together easy to build all right guys so the next tip is a simple one but just buy quality goats um be very cautious of the free goat on craigslist because usually there's something wrong with it or it may have parasites or worms or something just buy quality goats and that does not mean you have to go out and buy registered goats with paperwork but just when you go to look at a goat just look over their body condition like this uh billy right here I've had for three years and he may look a little beat up, but he just has a little bit of a temper and he takes it out on the fence, uh, the hay feeder. Uh, that's why he only has half a horn on this side. If you're going to spend a lot of money, get a good quality billy, but buy quality goats. Spend a little extra if you have to because it'll help you in the long run, battling parasites, just overall health, less vet visits. So the next thing I want to talk about is if you're really interested in about getting goats, you need to go ahead and start networking with other goat owners. 
there are tons of Facebook groups and internet forums that's where you really learn a lot about goats and medicating goats and just all about goat ownership and with my experience my local vets they do not know much about goats all the local vets just want to specialize in dogs cats and cows there's not a whole lot of people have goats so go on the forums go on the facebook groups and talk with these 20 30 year goat owners and listen to what they have to say when i started like i said earlier i knew pretty much nothing about goats i thought you just fenced in an area turn them loose and let them eat but it's not that simple it's it's not that difficult either but you just want to have a good understanding of what you're getting into and what you're dealing with. You want to give them the best shot possible. And that starts with you knowing the most possible about goats and what they eat, where they live, their habitat, just all that kind of good stuff. So start networking, start learning, start researching, and go ahead and get that knowledge before you get your first goat. My next tip would be have some things out in your fields, pastures, that the goats can entertain themselves on. You can find these easily on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. They're pretty cheap and um, they love to jump on top of them. Another thing you can get for your goats are these sections of concrete pipe. We actually found these on the side of the road where they completed some road work and they took the old pipe out of the ground and just left it there. So we went, took the tractor, got these. And the goats love to jump on these and they'll jump from one to the other. Next, I want to talk about shelter. Goats, they don't have to have a whole lot of shelter. They just don't like to get wet. So something dry and in a, on a hot, sunny day, somewhere where they can get out of the sun and into some nice shade. So what we built are these A-frames, just super simple, uh, two by four framing. This is an example of something more permanent that you can build. Um, it's just same frame as the teepees, uh, just more uh, area inside. And sometimes we use this, um, if we have a mama goat that is a first time mama, what we'll do is we'll put a few panels out front and then just section it off where she can't go anywhere and just kind of take a few days and get adjusted to having her baby. So this is another, um, another idea you can keep in mind if you're looking at building some shelter. And under the shelter category, I like to put shade in there too, because as you can see, this was a cow pasture. And when we started fencing um, this in for the goats, I didn't think that there was nothing for them to have shade in. So what I did was went to a wholesale nursery and I got these uh, about four or five year old oak trees. We planted these, we put this cow, um, sheep and goat panel around them so that the goats can't rub on them. They'll try to climb up as high as possible and eat the leaves off of them. So this just kind of gives them a couple years so that they can uh, establish their root system. If you don't have shade already in your pastures, uh, this is a good option to keep in mind. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna talk about are minerals. We have two kinds of minerals when it comes to goats. Loose mineral and then your copper bolus. So goats, they need both. The copper bolus cannot replace the loose mineral and the loose mineral cannot replace the copper bolus. This is a loose mineral that you will be feeding to your goats free choice, which means you'll always have it out and they can go to it whenever they want to. So I have, as you can see over there on my feed crowd, just a little uh, feeder box that you get from Tractor Supply Rural King. The copper bolus, on the other hand, you have to administer to the goats. And that's what this is for. You place one in the tip, you put a little bit of peanut butter or something so it doesn't come out. You just put it in their mouths as deep as possible and you just shoot it down. <laughs> All right, next tip. Probably one of the most important tips I can give you today is have the ability to section off your pastures. So as you can see, these goats have pretty much eaten up all of this uh, wheat and clover. So we'll just let them stay in here because when they're in here, the grass in the top pasture is growing. So they kind of just leap frog back and forth from top to bottom but around the start of the summer we'll close this off we'll plow it all up and then we'll plant our summer graze which a couple months after that we'll let them back in 
and then in the summer we'll close the middle gate and we'll keep them in here and then all of the bahia the briars everything in the top pasture is going to grow pretty good and then once they eat all of this up we'll put them in the top close it off and then this down here in the bottom the pearl millet the cow peas it'll have an opportunity to grow back so we just kind of just switch them back and forth all year long all right guys now we're going to talk about hay and hay feeders Goats, they don't like to particularly eat hay unless it's the only thing they have to eat. So in the winter, when all the grass is dead, um, they'll eat hay and they'll eat a lot of it. So it's important to have a feeder where they don't have the opportunity to create a lot of waste. If you have a whole round bale out here, the goats will get on top of it, they'll pee on it, they'll poop on it, and then they won't eat it after a couple days. And then the whole rest of the bale will just be wasted. So what we do is we build these hay feeders with the four x four goat panels, you can get it at Rural King Tractor Supply. And when I say four x four goat panel, this is what I'm meaning. Four inch squares on this panel. I had a cow panel and I built one of these hay feeders out of one time. And I had a goat get their head stuck in the cow panel because their squares are, I think six by six or six by eight. But one of the goats was up under here eating and they had their horns stuck and if, I had not come by and checked on them earlier than I planned on. The goat would have still be in there. It could have been in real danger. So it's important to have these four inch by four inch squares and at least plenty of room for the goats to stick their mouths up in there and get a ton of hay out. So, all right guys, for my last tip, it's plain and simple, just think ahead. If you're interested in getting goats, go ahead and fence off a section and then look at your property and see where you might be able to fence off in the future and put more goats. So I like this area right here is um, one of my next spots that I want to fence in. And as you can see, I went ahead and started doing things to, the, to this piece of property that will enhance it when it's ready to be fenced in. So as you can see here, I've got a crab apple tree planted. I've got four different types of oak trees planted in addition to the mature oak trees that are already in this section right here. I've got burr oak, sawtooth oak, live oak, and um, pin oak. So those are four different types of acorns that'll be dropping at four different times of the year, which will provide the goats a steady supply of acorns throughout the fall and winter. And then as you can see right here, I've got two mulberry trees planted. And these are very beneficial to goats because they like to eat the fruit and they like to eat the leaves off of these. And these start producing fruit early in the spring and summer. So it's another very, very good tree to plant. And as you can see, this is a two year old tree and it's just absolutely loaded down with mulberries. So probably three or four years from now, I'll start fencing this off, but I'm going ahead now and doing the work necessary to have it an ideal spot when it is time to fence in and bring the goats in here. So my last tip, very important tip, plan ahead. All right guys, so in closing, build a quality fence, build a nice feed corral where you can catch the goats if need be, network with people who know more about goats than you do right now, um, build a quality hay feeder where they're not creating a lot of waste, keep loose mineral available to them when needed and give them a copper bolus when they need it, have them something to play on, buy quality goats, shelter, shade, rotational grazing, and most importantly, think ahead. <laughs>